What is going on guys, Tiswava here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now last time we left off, we had our 50th episode special, and you guys hopefully watched all of it because man, it was like over two and a half hours long. Thankfully it didn't hit that three hour mark. What in the world is that? Pig rent? What? Okay, we almost got- there we go, we got it right there, that's good. I'm about to land a lot- oh, nice, the ice didn't melt right there, that's good. Or break. There you go, kill these things. I did also get uh, some comments from you guys saying, hey, oh, Ice Merman again. Remember, we got killed by one of those earlier. <gasps> oh, never mind. We just got killed by Illuminati Bat <laughs> or Illuminant Bat. Man, I tried to go down there to get to. Man, we lost a gold and some silver, dude. She didn't know we had that much on us. But I tried to go down there because you guys commented saying, hey, there's like a crystal down there. And if you if you get that crystal and there's a party going on, by the way. Uh, I think Patty and someone else is like throwing a party right now for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, apparently there's a crystal down there, and if I if I like get it, I could use that crystal to to summon in the queen slime. So that's going to be pretty interesting, you guys. Something I also want to do this episode is to try and like halt the the spreading of the crimson over here. We do want to try and like stop it as much as we can. Remember, last episode I said, hey. Seems like, uh, one of you guys said that I could, like, dig a hole in the ground to try and stop, like, spreading crimson that away. I guess we could try and do that. I don't know how wide it has to be, three or six blocks wide or something like that. Uh, but basically just big, dig, just big a, dig a big hole in the ground. <laughs> and that ho hopefully should take, oh yeah, and then there's these crimson hearts over here. Yeah, we do need to, oh, oh, another unicorn. We need, we need another uh, unicorn horn. You guys, we can almost do it. Oh, uh, one more hit. There we go, we got him right there. Did you drop one? Yep, we got a unicorn horn. Perfect. We need that for something. I forget what it was, but we'll, we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to Kyle or Asher about it a little bit later. Not that big of a deal. Either way, golly. Man, yeah, these critters over here are crazy powerful, you guys. <laughs> I do need to... Oh, okay, that didn't that didn't break right there. That's good. You need to try and heal up. There you go, as well as take a fish. There you go. Oh, no, another one of these. I can pig demons or something. Pig, pig horn, pig ron kite. Okay. Jeez, down to half health right now though, but we're not too far away from where the uh, uh oh, oh, kill that guy. Nice, got a soul of light right there. Oh man, merman or something down there. Wait, what? Oh, it was the merman or something that was shooting at me right there. Sheesh. Uh oh, that thing's teleporting around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's just try and avoid that thing. That's where we died. There's two of them there actually. Oh, go over here. Oh, what? What? Man, I died again. <laughs> But, like, right there is where we have to go. Man, those turtles do so much damage. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I definitely need to heck and heal up here, you guys. Because it only spawns you in a half health. Let's do that. Let's, do, let's get the sharpening here. Golly. There you go. I don't know if I want to heal up or uh, spend money to heal up. Pigron kite. That's what it's called. Pigron. Interesting. There you go. Put all that trash up. Well, let's go back there again, I suppose. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, and I do need to get my imp back out. So, there you go. But, yeah, we weren't too far away. Man, let's go back there a third time's the charm again, and hopefully I could actually make it over there without dying this time. But yeah, there's a lot on our plate ahead of us, you guys. Like, I definitely want to get the void bags, like I mentioned in, like, episode 49. If I want to try and get those, I just need to get some more tissue sample. Uh, and to do that, we need to get, like, like some sort of... Oh, yeah, we can go this way, nice. And to do that, we need to get uh, some sort of... Like, 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 there are mushrooms. Oh man, crim slime right there. There are mushrooms that spawn, like vicious mushroom. I need, a, I need to turn those into vicious powder, and then combine those together with like vertebrae or something like that to get like a, a bloody spine. And that's what is used to spawn in the uh, brain of Cthulhu again, I believe. So we should be able to do that again and get a bunch of tissue samples. Easy peasy, no problemo. And uh, hopefully this is the right way. Okay, it just kind of converges. And of course, oh, whoa, 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 what's that thing right? Oh, it's just one of those weird crimson chests or something like that. It's crazy. Let's see. I don't know if I want to use a bee nade down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got one of those, like, cloak things. Apparently, those are, like, really good at, uh, kind of like, it's kind of like the bee, like, honeycomb or whatever that we had. Where, like, you take damage and, like, f uh, stars will fall out of the sky and, like, help you out or whatever. Is that it right there? Where was it? Someone said it was. Is this it? Gelatin crystal? That might be it. I think that's it. Gelatin crystal. It's gotta be. Slime, right? What's down here? What's over there? Can't really tell what's over there. I don't want to go see though, but thankfully a lot of the stuff that was over here I can despawn, so that's good. Crystal shards and stuff. It's over here. It looks like there's a. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's just like more of those jars and stuff like that. Not that big of a deal. Uh, boom. There you go. Healing potions and stuff. Nice. Whoa, 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 What was that? I don't know, but I just killed it for 25 silver. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Or right, is that home? As we're still alive. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, also got some comments from you guys saying, hey, you should definitely keep the Spectre boots and, and work those up to a, another type of boot. I forgot the name of it, but it's like at the. There's like a huge like tech tree that you have to do to get those types of boots. Uh, so I suppose we'll just. Oh, and I think you could actually combine. 
Uh, of course, we're going to have to talk to Asher about it. Wearables, is this it? Yeah, ice skates? We can combine these ice skates together with something. And uh, apparently, let's go to crafting. That's one of the things that'll... Frost spark boots. So we need lightning boots, which I don't know if you can actually... Uh, allows flight super fast running. Whoa, 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 how do I make those then? But I guess I guess this is something I could work towards with my menacing specter boots. Combine it together with the ice skates, and that gives us frost spark boots. And then maybe use these to make what you guys are talking about. Allows flight, super fast running, extra mobility on ice. I guess I'll have to look it up real quick. I'll have to pull up a tab just to see. Yeah, anklet of the wind and an aglet gives us lightning boots. Interesting. Do I, have, do I have an anklet of the wind? If I do, it's going to be over here. What does that look like again? It looks like a leaf. Uh, yeah, it's like a leaf with like a flower in the middle. Uh, I'm not seeing it over here. At least just glancing over right now, you know. Oh, yeah, and then this feral claws or was that the right, right one? I know someone says something about, like, claws or something like that, but apparently those are going to be pretty useful here. And you know what? Let's, let's talk to uh, Asher about it. Go to, whoops, didn't mean to close it. Crafting. Uh, let's see. Titan Glove, Feral Claws. Uh, increases melee knockback. Oh, oh, this is the one. This is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said something about, like, a glove or, or something that you could wear and it turns every weapon into auto swing. Uh, Power Glove. Yeah, that was another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do you get the Titan Glove, though? That's what we need to combine together with the Feral Claws that we have right here. Let's see. Okay, so Mimics can drop it. Those little chests that come alive, it's a 1 in 7 chance from those. So, uh, oh yeah, and people said, yeah, you can, like, craft a key, put it inside of an empty chest, and that'll turn it into a Mimic. So, definitely want to try and do that here in the future, you guys. But yeah, we're, we're, we're glad that I, I kind of made its own chest over here for these, like, collectibles, I guess I'm calling or, uh, wearables, accessories, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, there it is right there. Some is a queen side. Do we want to do that yet? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to do quick stack. There you go. Just kind of help out with that. Random loot. I really need to have, like, a dedicated chest over here for boss spawning doohickeys, you know? I did also get comments from you guys saying, hey, oh, a blessed apple. Whoa! Summons a rideable unicorn mount. What? What are the odds of that? Blessed apple. I did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, like the second critter you kill gives you like a blindfold. That's like pure luck right there. What about this blessed apple? Is dropped by any hallowed enemy with a 1 in 200 or a 0.5% chance. Ooh, that's pretty decent right there. And it's, it makes sense considering it, we probably got it from a heckin' unicorn there, you guys. Nice. So let's see. Is this like a, a one-time thing or is it uh, some sort of right old unicorn mount? Now, what if I put that over here instead of the black studded saddle? Put that over there instead. And then we hit the ride button. Oh my god! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! This one jumps... How fast? I think it's faster. Whoa, whoa! It even has, like, a sprint! Can it- can it fly? That'd probably be, like, some sort of Pegasus. I assume so, huh? Some sort of Pegasus would be able to fly around and be super duper fast while- while doing it, too. And he could jump over houses and stuff. Our- our black studded horse or whatever was unable to jump over houses. Nice! Man, we got a really good drop right there. Nice! All right, uh, some other, yeah, some other trash in our inventory. Yeah, I really do need to make, like, some sort of chest, specifically for, hmm, should I keep it over here? Uh, no, nah, that's, doesn't really make sense to have it there. Maybe in the piggy bank? But, I'm like, I guess once we get the void, whatever you call it, which we should be able to make, right? Let's see, I, I, I know roughly how you're supposed to make those. Yeah, you need the vertebrae, you need the vicious mushroom, and then... Do you go down to a crimson altar to make the vicious powder? I, no, 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 Yeah, we, we, we have one of the things we need like a an alchemy station or something like that right do we have do we have that place down i think we have it somewhere in storage structures bewitching table. yeah alchemy table we have that boom so we just need to place that let's place it up there definitely want to at least incentivize us building this third layer like i wanted to uh to do i think what i'm going to do here pretty soon is get rid of this room or you know like like just move it or whatever and then that could be even more storage uh, maybe even this whole bottom layer could be stored. Maybe, maybe this front room could be like where my forge's anvil, uh, the metals and gems, the extractinator. Th th that, I could just move all that over here and then move or expand the chest room to be even bigger and maybe even expand it this way a little bit. Is anyone even assigned to that front? Yeah, no one's even assigned there, so I'll probably end up expanding it over there too, to be quite honest, but that's probably what we're going to do. But we need to go over here to the alchemy station or table or whatever and make some. There it is right there, vicious powder, one mushroom. Yeah, one, one Vicious Mushroom gives us five Vicious Powder, which is great. Spreads the Crimson, so it's the opposite of the Purification Powder, so that's definitely not I can use that, right? But uh, let's grab a... Uh, eh, you know, I'm going to keep a few Vicious Mushrooms left over, just in case, right? So there you go. And then now, I think we go down to the Crimson Altar, and that's when we uh, put the Vicious Mushroom back inside there. I don't know what to do with the Pickeron Kite. Really, back in, uh, can be flown on windy... Is it rain? Is it windy right now while it's raining? Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> I guess not, it just fall, falls down to the ground. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's go put up the, uh... Where should I put the horse, though? I don't know, wearables? I'm like, it kind of fits in over there, but not really. Gelatin crystal, uh, snow block. Let me put up some other trash real quick, though, like that. But yeah, what was that one thing I was thinking about? It was like a, yeah, alright, there, a quick star cloak. Can be worn in vanity slots, causes stars to fall after taking damage. So similar to the honeycomb right there, where it releases bees after taking damage. It's like, yeah, I have another one right there that gives us four defense. So if we take damage, falls will, or stars will fall out of the sky and hopefully, oh, party time's over. <laughs> Hopefully do damage to our enemies and stuff. Uh, also, this cross right here increases the length of, length of invincibility after taking damage. Apparently, this is going to be really good for boss battles. So we can actually, uh, like, like you know, the like when you take damage, you have like a, a, a second of invincibility. So that might actually be really good for this boss battle. Just wear that. Like, we're not going to be using the lava charm for this boss battle, so I suppose we can replace it there. Yeah, I'd, I'd, that's probably going to be fine. Maybe maybe even get like the star cloak just to test it out. Maybe get rid of the obsidian shield. Ah! Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of the obsidian shield for right now. Or, you know, get rid of it as in, like, just replace it. Just put something else there, you know. Gelatin crystal, I guess I'll put that up over there. There you go, nice. And, uh, I don't know what to do with the black studded thing. I guess I'll put it up over here. So, uh, put that up over there. There you go, nice. Just because it is kind of like a clothing item, I guess you can say, for some reason. I don't know. But either way, we have a lot of vertebrae. We have a lot of, uh, vicious powder. So we could, uh... Oh, yeah, I don't even need to worry about, like, fall damage anymore, right? <laughs> let's go down here, let's go to the nearest crimson, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 you just open up. Oh, there it is right there, bloody spine! Ooh, I can make two of them. I didn't know you needed 30 vicious powder to do this. I thought it was, like, like, five or something like that, but I guess, yeah. When we find those vicious mushrooms in the crimson, we're definitely gonna want to get them and then turn them into vicious powder so we can do this, but at least we can do it twice. So, hey, there you go. We should be able to get a lot of tissue sample from that and be able to make the void bags and, and void, uh, vault or whatever it's called. I'm going to have to pull it up again just to verify, but, uh, especially now, because this is like, uh, what was it, like the second or third boss that we did? Yeah, because we did the King Slime, we did the Iron Cthulhu. Yeah, I think this was like the third boss, the Brain of Cthulhu. I guess we could do it, and, and it is nighttime right now, too, so I assume it's only available at night or something, so... Perhaps. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's go over there on our uh, unicorn. There you go. Oh, man. We have a heckin' demon right there. We need to kill him. Get him. There we go. We got him. Nice. Yeah, we need to heal up, too. Let's take a, let's take a fish for a buff. And I'm not, I'm not going to heal up right there, though. That, that's fine. Mm, let's see. What should we do? I kind of want to do it in that big room there, though. Let's go do it in that big room, just like we did last time. How do I get there from here, though? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see, look at that. When we take damage... Like, stars fall out of the sky and hopefully do damage to enemies that are attacking us, so... That seems really good. That's a part of the star cloak thing. Let's test that out with these... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gastropod. Ew. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Kill that thing. Kill it! Eh, I don't know how effective it is, to be quite honest. I'm like, I guess we're going to take a lot... It, it takes a minute for the, uh, for the stars to kind of... Hallowed key? Oh, we got it! You guys! We can go to the dungeon. I know there was a key that looked like that that we needed to open. I need to go to- oh god! Rainbow Slime! Hey! Kill it, kill it, kill it! We're taking a little bit of damage and it's getting- Rainbow Bricks, we got 38 of those. <laughs> uh, but I know, uh, we can- Oh yeah, yeah, and then we have these Hunter Potions and um, other stuff right there, yeah, yeah, Oh yeah, and of course you guys are saying, hey, definitely go fishing, now it's in hard mode. That was already in my notes, I forgot to actually do it, though. So let's definitely try and test that out here. But I do want to do these boss battles before we actually, uh, start, so let's get up to full health, hopefully. Is this it? Yeah, this is the big room right here, okay, that's good. So. uh... I guess if anything, there are still some hearts down there. We could summon them in that away, but not that big of a deal. What helmet do we have? Oh yeah, we have the Mithril helmet, 16 defense. Yeah, and we're really close to being able to get the full set, like, bonus or whatever from Mithril, so that's going to be good. We're up to 39 armor, or, uh, defense right now, which is great. Let's do the... Where's the spine at? Oh, did I... Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, there they are right there. I was about to say, I couldn't even see them right there, but how do I do this? Yeah, I don't know why this isn't working. I guess I'll have to look into it, you guys. See what, like, if there's any prerequisites bloody spine for uh, activating it the bloody spine is a consumable summoning item used to summon in the brain cthulhu boss while in the crimson yeah so we're in the crimson right oh are we not technically in the crimson anymore because this is hallowed yeah this is hallowed now so we need to go up there or even oh yeah I, over there is where we did it last time yeah whoops yeah so this is technically the hallowed area so we can't do it here because this is, uh, he, he requires being in the Crimson, so. Let's go over to that other area. And this was the wrong area anyways, so. Let's go to that other area, and let's go summon in the Brain Cthulhu twice. And hopefully you just defeat him no problemo, and get ourselves a bunch of tissue sample, and use those to make the Void Bags and the Void Vault. That way we could, uh, pick up a bunch of loot, especially rare drops and rare loot like that, you know? In hard mode, where, where things have, like, a, a percentage, or, like, a, a fraction of a percentage chance of dropping. Whoa! 
Ice elemental. We got it right there. Nice. Yeah, and of course, uh, some stars and stuff are falling down, too. Is this it? Nope, this isn't it. Whoops. Man. This is a little bit further in this way. Then go down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something just spawned right there. Is this it? Nope. A little bit further now. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a lot of ice elementals over here. I'm getting killed. But I believe we're in the area now, so that's good. Let's heal up again. Let's get another, uh... Now we already have another fish. Probably should have taken the, uh... Oh, uh, you know what? We do have a piggy bank. We could get... Let's see. We could get our sharpening station. Please, can I place that down? Oh, there's a critter! Hold on, I want to place this down somewhere, but I can't because it's all sloped. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, place it down. There you go. All right, we just sharpened our thing. Got it back right there. Nice. Now let's go back down there. and Hopefully, we're going to be eating through any armorating that this guy will have. And uh, do you fall? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Try to spin around, try and kill these guys. There we go, nice. Yeah, there is a chance also of these critters dropping like like health. You could uh, immediately heal yourself up with, which is good. So, oh, whoa, 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 there's a wisp or uh, whatever you call that right there. Yeah, I remember that's where we tested out like horizontal rope placement and stuff. What is this? I don't know what that is. Is that an NPC? I did get a comment from someone saying, hey, you missed an NPC. I just don't know when it was, but I missed it. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just random crimson right there. I thought it was like an NPC, like the shape of it. It was kind of crazy. And as I do want to heal up again, go to basically full health and let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. Brain of Cthulhu has awoken. You know what? I'm going to spawn in a bunch of bees preemptively. Oh, oh, oh there he is. There he is. There he is. You know, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there are all his eyeballs right there. Yeah, this this whip might actually be a... Uh, What's this called? Lasso? I forget. Oh, man, yeah, look at that. His eyeballs are getting really damaged. He's already down to half health right now, you guys. Nice. Just have to kill his eyeballs. And then, of course, we'll be able to kill him afterwards, I believe. That's that's what we learned last time we fought him. And there you go. He, his, his brain is opened, I guess. Now we can actually attack him directly with his heart exposed, which is insane. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let me get him with some magic. Let me get him with some magic here with the uh, flame lash or whatever. There you go. And a meteorite has landed. What? Man. Another, that's the third meteorite. You kidding me? Well, we're getting a lot of tissue sample right now, which is good. Man, I just need to go see where that heckin' meteorite landed, though. Sheesh. Seven gold, crimtain ore and stuff? Eh, not bad. At least maybe I'll be able to sell it, but... Oh, man, yeah, we're full health. Yeah, we got a lot of hearts right there, which is good. There you go. Grab even more tissue samples right there. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I don't know, maybe I could... Oh, God. Maybe try and uh, patch this area up. Try and, uh, oh, crim slime right there. Try and make sure any loot that, like, comes out of him will just, uh, immediately be easily accessible like that tissue sample right there, so that's good. Oh yeah, and another thing drops, uh, tissue sample. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I think it's like his minions that directly drop the tissue sample. Yeah, I looked into that while looking into how to get the void crystal or whatever it's called. Yeah, I need to place, like, uh, actual, like, platforms over here, but whatever. We can do another boss battle real quick. Let's heal up. Let's get another, uh, fish buff thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hunter shows the location of an enemy. Eh, not that big. Actually, it might actually be helpful for this. Let's do another one. And you know what? Let's get the bee gun back out. Just because, hey, why not? Seemed like it worked out okay. You know, just to use up our mana immediately. There, there is eyeballs. Yeah, he teleported there. That was kind of crazy. There you go. Oh, there you go. Man, I just need to re-up on my flying and I'll be good. Yeah, look at that. They're getting attacked by the heckin' bees. Getting stung over there. Holy crimtain ore. Man, he's already down to half health again. Man, his eyeballs are getting... I'm like ripping out his eyeballs. That's what's happening here. It's crazy. Where is he? Man, oh yeah, I need to zoom out. I forgot about- Oh, there he is, there he is. I could- I could fight him directly right there. Nice. Let's do this. Let's get him with this. There you go. Oh, whoops. Nice. Hit him with that. Hit him again. Hit him- Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to- Man, he keeps teleporting everywhere. It's hard to keep track. But there you go, Brain Cthulhu defeated again. And we got the Brain Cthulhu trophy. I think we had that last time. So that's not anything new. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that guy? Seems like a new critter. Or some, no, 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 it's just a crit. Yeah, it's just a crim slice, just a heals highlight. Because the hunter potion. Well, there you go. That's two of them down. I forget how many, uh, and then there's a blood jelly over there. Ugh. But that's that's two of them down. That should be enough uh tissue samples, I'm sure. I think we needed like 30 to make the void bag and or the void vault. So probably like 60 altogether. How much do we have? We have 70 right now. That's good. I, so hopefully we have enough. There you go, kill that guy. It's 15 silver from a heckin' blood jellyfish. Are you kidding me? That's crazy cheap. But yeah, man, the brink, they lose nothing now. It's crazy. I'm like, it better be. I'm like, if, if it was still something, <laughs> then we're not really progressing too well, are we? Sheesh. But let's go. Do we want to go home or do we want to get like adventure around a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're kind of somewhat close to the dungeon. Kind of want to go over there. I don't know where the actual chest was that this key is supposedly able to open. Is it like deep? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's just a possessed armor. Okay, not that big of a deal. Is it, like, really deep into the dungeon, or is it, like, basically at the entrance? Because I, I really want to go open up whatever this this key 
is going to be able to open up. What's it called again? A hallowed? Yeah, hallowed key. So that's good to know. I wonder what the uh, percentage drop of that is. Seemingly, I guess it drops from any type of jungle. Or, uh, it said something about jungle. What did it say again? It has been cursed by a powerful jungle creature. I don't know what that means necessarily, but we got it from like a crimson creature, which is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. I also, also got some colors of you guys saying, hey. Oh, man. Look at the. Oh, uh, even the cacti over here getting like. Is this still? Oh, I guess it's just Crimson uh, Desert. This is what Crimson Desert looks like. It's really nasty. To be quite honest, she should spread hardcore over here, you guys. Yeah, I, I, I really need to like settle this down. I, I need I need to find out where the edges of this are and just kind of dig at the edges and, and prevent it from spreading too much. Oh, there's another crater right there. Let's go over to the. Golly, how long does this go? But I do know people said if I defeat one, either one or all of the mechanical bosses. Then I should be able to get like some sort of device that heals up uh, Crimson or gets rid of Crimson or something like that. So that's going to be something to look forward to. I, uh, oh, oh, here's our normal desert. So like maybe around here we're going to have to honestly like dig in the ground just kind of prevent it from spreading too much more. You know, like right here. Might just want to dig it downwards. Where specifically? Oh yeah, like right there it starts turning the Crimson. Like maybe like right here. And I think it ha I, I think maybe like three wide or something like that. I, I forget. But yeah, like, dig like this, and it spreads in the ground as well, you guys said, so, yeah. This is probably our best bet. Going to want to do the same thing over by our house as well. Probably dig all the way down to the heckin' ground, or, uh, like, underworld or something crazy, you guys. I, I, I'm just going to make it three wide for right now. Maybe in the future we can make it to, uh, like, six or whatever, just to be absolutely and utterly, utter, utterly sure that nothing bad- Oh, whoa, we just dug into something, like, loot right there, nice. Shoe spikes, bomb, iron bar, wooden arrows, and some other trash right there. Uh, man, I have so much stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, I need to get the uh, the money trough back out. Boom. There you go. Let's talk to him. Let's give him uh, give him some stuff. Let's give him the vicious pack. Oh yeah, we have. Oh yeah, well, those are vicious uh, mushrooms from last time. Tissue samples. Definitely want to keep those. Lesser healing potion. I guess you could take those. Crimson ore and other stuff. Uh, sharpening station. I never gave that to you, did I? And uh, put all those up. That's probably going to be fine, honestly. There you go. Definitely want to keep the bee nades. There you go. Day bloom. I guess we can keep that. I know it's for some sort of potion, right? Loot all. There you go. Nice. All right. Let's go up here. Let's hopefully kill this thing. There we go. We got it. Nice. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. We just opened up a chest or something right there. We didn't actually kill. There we go. We got him right there. That's good. Yeah, well, we'll uh, I'll keep digging later. Hopefully, I'll, I'll forget about it or anything like that. But basically, this is what we need to do, apparently. And I guess maybe three is fine. If not, then I guess we need to make it six wide. And here's where, like, the first meteor fell down. I guess we need to find out where the third meteor's falling down, wherever the world that is, right? Sheesh. But over here is going to be the dungeon. I wonder if it landed, it, if it's if it's even possible to land on that dungeon, that'd be crazy. <laughs> let's go over here, let's go see uh, where that one chest is that we could open up with this new hallowed key that we got, because I'm very curious. And look at this, because we have no fall damage now, I, I am not really, like, caring at all. Oh, was this it? No, that's, uh, that's some other ch uh, chest key thing. What about this? I feel like it might actually be, like, really deep in the dungeon. Oh, wait, no, this is it. Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, is that not it? Hallowed key? Yeah, that's it. Can I not open that? Because I've got the key. kind of want to look into this. Hallowed key. Oh, it says unusable until Plantera is defeated. It can be dropped any time during hard mode. Man! So I guess I can't open this thing up until I defeat another boss. Man! Well, that sucks. All right, well, I guess we'll just teleport back home. Watch a heckin' meteor. Oh, I was about to say a heckin' meteor landed like on our house, right? <laughs> that would have been crazy. Anyways, what are we doing here? I know we're doing something. I, I guess we could put the. Oh, whoa, whoa, what are those arrows? Oh, yeah, unholy arrows. Yeah, apparently those are pretty decent. So let's uh, let's put up the. What was I doing? I guess put up the hallowed key inside of there just because why not, right? We're trying to make. Uh, yeah, we're trying to make a void bag. Let me let me pull that up. So a void bag is 30 bones, 15 jungle spores, and 30 tissue samples. The void vault is 15 bones, 8 jungle spores and 15 tissue samples in a demon or crimson altar, so just need to get those materials and we should be good, so uh, let's quick stack all nearby blobbity bloobs, that should be fine. And yeah, we do have the brain Cthulhu thing like right there, I suppose we could put this over here in like art or something stupid. <laughs> so there you go, you know, just put the trophies over there, just cause, I'm like, they are decorative, right? So, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Alright, that should be all that. Let's go over here, let's go quick stack all the items back in uh, whatever chests, there you go, perfect. And put the vicious powder and the vertebrae up in here. Oh man, I can't! There's no room! Money trough, you know what, maybe I'll put that, uh... 
I don't know, like tools or something like that, to be quite honest. Just because it kind of makes sense over there. So there you go. Get another uh, slot back. And yeah, we have a man-eater kite. We have multiple kites over here I don't need, honestly, so. Oh yeah, I need to talk to uh, Asher about what to use the unicorn horn for. Oh yeah, uh, torches. Definitely need to go put those up in, like, tools or something like that. Alright, let's talk to Asher about the, the unicorn horn. Just see what it's used for. The rainbow rod, un or holy arrows, and super mana potions. Probably the rainbow rod I was thinking about, to be quite honest. Oh yeah, we might be able to make one. We need Soul of Sight though, the essence of omni Omniscient what Watchers. I don't know what drops that, I guess we can look it up. Soul of Sight? What drops these? Dropped by the Twins, and is used to craft... So I, I got comments saying there's three like mechanical bosses, two of which we know about. The first one was like that mechanical worm that, that we encountered like 20 minutes into last episode, or episode 50, depending on how long this one is. <laughs> Uh, then the second one was the Skeletron Prime, which is apparently we were supposed to encounter it, but I guess because we were underground, it never actually spawned in. Like, the little message at the bottom of the screen came up, but like, it ne never actually came up to fight me. <laughs> and then the third one is the Twins, that's another, uh, thing that we so we'd actually defeat that thing before we can make this rainbow rod here, unfortunately. Man! Because it's, it's, it's pretty heckin' well upgraded compared to our Flame Lash, so definitely seems like something I'd use. But yeah, definitely something to- oh, and we can make, uh, 200 holy arrows right now, sheesh. Because we have, uh, two unicorn horns. I'll keep that for right now, though. So let's put it up over there, boom, there you go. And, uh, regular healing potions, we can put those up over there, nice. I guess, I don't know, do I want to put the bla uh, lava charm back on? I guess maybe we could. And put the, uh, the star cloak, I'm not crazy about that one. And the hard cross necklace, that's, that's pretty good during boss battles. So I suppose we could, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. What do you do, right? Yeah, right clicking that auto equips it, perfect. But yeah, I definitely want to keep those. And I think we can even combine them together. I think I got comments saying I can combine those together, right? I don't know what specifically I have to be. Oh, wait. Star Veil. There it is right there. So what is that one? I don't know what that thing is right there, but... Give it one vanity slots, causes stars to fall, and increases the length of infinite... So it literally just combines both of them together. Okay. Interesting. I keep them separate for right now, though. Just because, uh... I don't know if I need any of their individual parts to make anything specific here in the future, or, or what. But for right now, I'm going to get, uh... Oh man, well, let me pull up the void bag again. So we need 30 bones, which I think is technically a weapon or an ammo. So let's grab some bones. Yeah, we've got tons of bones there, no problem ammo. Uh, we need bones for- we need bones, jungle spores, and tissue samples for all these, so. Uh, jungle spores, tissue samples, where do those go? Oh, we've got a lot of, uh, vicious mushrooms right there. I, I guess I put them up in the plant's chest or something like that, okay. Oh, I put the- oh, okay, the tissue samples, like, went into the- the- the metals and gems for some reason. That's where it went. Okay, that's kind of strange. I don't know why it's in there, but... Oh, what is this? Obsidian? Uh, I... I'm like, it kind of makes sense to be in this chest, but like, one of these sort items is kind of like a different color there, yeah. <laughs> but whatever, not that big of a deal. So we have basically everything on us right now, which is good. Also wanted to put the... vicious mushrooms in the plants chest, let's do that. Let's go down, let's, let's go make a void vault and a void, uh, bag. And as long as we have the void bag in our inventory, like, any extra items that we can't, like, fit in our inventory should go to the void bag and therefore the void vault so let's go oh here it is here it is summons the void vault if carried so it's similar to the pick a bank if carried it may pick up items and when your inventory is full this pocket dimension is out of this world perfect let's get it yep 30 bones 15 jungle spores and 30 tissue samples awesome so definitely want to keep that in our inventory and i think this is an actual structure here that we need to yeah can be placed can be used to store your items stored stored items can only be accessed by you and not that big of a deal because we're in single player will contain items picked up by the void bag boom all right you guys we have it Perfect, this is awesome. So let's go place this thing down, and I guess if we're, you know, I, I don't have to worry about the pig, I, I don't know how big of an inventory this thing has. Hopefully decent, like maybe like a pig bank size, uh, how big is this, like, physically? Oh, it's pretty big. Hmm. This might have to go on the third layer again. Just like, uh, all the, oh wait, no, I can't fit it on the, there. Man. Yeah, I don't think I can fit it, like, anywhere, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. I'm like, it would make sense to keep it, like, somewhere on the first layer, you know, maybe even by our chests, so it's easy to, to just access it, and then... Hmm, is anyone assigned to this room right here? Yeah, I guess not. You know, I might as well just tear everything down over here, boom. Tear everything down. There you go. And, uh, just kind of start expanding this area out a little bit. There you go, perfect. Uh, there you go, nice. And I guess I'll place the void, uh, vault, like, right here, and then, uh, there you go. Then we'll start- oh, whoa, whoa, that looks really cool. Whoa, that's a big inventory. I love that. Is that bigger than a piggy bank? Hold on, let's get the money trough out. I think it looks like it might be, honestly. No, it's the same size. It's the same size. It just looked like it for a second there, though, but... Whenever our inventory's full, it just goes inside of here, and I guess once that's full, then we could use the piggy bank, right? Sheesh. 
So that's going to be really cool. But for right now, let's go to random loot, split up the tissue sample. I should probably make some something called like rare loot or something like that, to be quite honest. Uh, but for right now, I guess I'll sell some of those banners, just because I'm like, I'm probably not going to be able to place them anywhere, and I already have a ton of banners already, so it's not that big of a deal if I sell them, right? So, sell that. Yep, one silver. Boom, boom. And a daylight painting. I guess I'll keep that and put, like, an art or whatever. You know, we could use it as decoration for the third layer whenever that comes, right? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, let's definitely place a torch here. There you go. Just so we could, uh, kind of looks like missile light. No, that's, that's perfectly fine right there. Perfect. Nice. Well, let's put the painting up over there. Put some random trash up, and then put some stuff up in the structures. Alright, let's favorite the void bag. There you go, perfect. So let's keep that there. That's going to be awesome. So now whenever our inventory is full, it's going to kind of populate inside the void bag. So that's going to be awesome, you guys. I cannot wait to use that thing here in the future. Sheesh. That's going to be awesome.